So I've decided to come up above here, get all the way up here to the top. And what we've got on the original house here, it's a two by six top plate, R19 insulation above it. You can see the airspace. They didn't use any proper vents above that. There's a gap. In the garage, I think they had intended on doing proper vents all the way down because in this corner, they stapled them up. That gives you about a one inch air gap right here. And then I guess they were gonna stuff it full, but R19 is only six and a quarter, and these are seven and a half. So wouldn't be necessary to use them. They've got, let's see what they got up here. It's like a fiber board. And they ran up to this. So we're gonna butt our drywall up to this. You can see this is the original house. Rafters coming out. Now they got the garage going up. And then we've got the overhang here, which is two by sixes sitting on a double top plate. And they go out for the overhang. And that's where we're getting our air in. You see the difference in light here. So I want to cut these. They're kind of difficult. So I'm going to measure between these. They look like they're a little bit different. So I'll probably do them individual. Cut pieces place them up in it's hard to do the paper and have anything to fasten to so I might just tear the paper off and use a uh, roofing paper style synthetic um, kind of like a vapor barrier over it to hold it up in there and then because they're two by sixes and it's a sharp edge that means that it's not a, a two by six. It's some odd number I'll measure. Uh, I have to cut another board to go here. And it's going to be somewhere between one and a half, one and three quarters, I think. I got to pluck a couple nails and screws sticking out here. They must have had things hanging from. And I'll probably do the ceiling first. And then get that held up. Cut my 2 by put in here. I might have some 2 by 2 pieces somewhere. If not, we'll rip a couple. And then we'll do the wall afterwards. And I think our fan is going to be down there by that I-beam. Probably above that double wire. I'll put it up as high as I can get it there, probably. My guess is probably just on the outside. That way I can reach it easy with a ladder inside if I don't want to drop this ladder down. I'm sorry, the stairs that we're going to assemble and put up here. And then these are our uprights. And that's just a 2 by that's put on with a ledger screw holding the edge of the loft up. And I think I want to do something a little different, either with metal maybe. Maybe some garage door track, or not track, but the um, the adjustable bars, you know, the, the angle irons. Something... A little different um, this one here this holds up the garage door track and this can be changed out and hooked into that framing down there over there is a dryer vent that uh, is a bathroom vent there's a vent up here so apparently like I said I don't know the total history on the house is my guess is there's plywood behind this drywall, this 5 8 fire code drywall. There's, there's a half inch plywood behind it. My guess is this was going to be the outside wall of the house. And then they have an afterthought of putting a garage attached to it. That's my guess in this build. Um, so that has to come apart. And then a uh, four inch pipe has to go to that other one out there and vent it outside. You can't vent it into the garage. Um, but that goes to, let's see, Dawson's bathroom vent. That goes out the sidewall on the other side. So this, this has got to be the downstairs bath vent. Just an exhaust vent for the half bath. So not super important, but that has to be vented outside. If it's a shower area, it's got to be sealed up nice, maybe insulated pipe. And this is a downward slope about 
18 inches, so that should work fine. So I'll pick up some probably expandable. That doesn't have to be fire rated or nothing. Like just some expandable pipe for that. But I got piles of insulation in the way, things. I'm going to move it around, get going, give me a working area here. Start cutting up some pieces, grab tape measure, measure each one, pop them in there, and get going on this. Okay, I put insulation out over to the top of the double sill and came across to here. You can see it in there. And I tore the paper off because it would have been a whole bunch of little pieces and crap anyway. And so I just ran some synthetic roofing paper up. Now I'm ready to put on my 2 by here. And probably the best way to get a measurement, because I believe they ripped them 2 by 6s out of the 2 by 8s so I don't know what size they are, is to just run a straight edge across two of these rafters. And wherever it dives into this, above that's where I need my little ledger so that my drywall can hook to. So I'll measure that off, nail them on. I've got to probably cut them on the table saw. i got a bunch of scraps left over from Dawson's building. They're under cover out there, so I'll bring them in, nail them on. And we can go ahead and measure up all the bays except the one we're going to put the vent in and put our R13-faced our insulation on these. And then we'll be ready to drywall. And a little bit of framing work to do here. As you see, here's a wire chase. I use some long nails on the sheathing. They touch the wire, but they don't pierce the wire. Gotta be careful on the length of your nails. And then um, all we got here is a two before, lagged with, looks like ledgers, to the two by four. And so I just need to cut more OSB to continue, finish this off, and then the drywall will come down and touch that. And so I'll measure that up. I'm sure I got something out there. We'll put that down. And uh, I thought about doing a couple outlets up here, but I don't know if it's necessary because I think what I'm going to do is just like what I'm doing now is just put a shop light up in here because this is storage. I'm not going to be up here for anything because it's not tall enough. I've got about three and a half feet down there at the I-beam, and I think I've got six and a half feet up here at the ridge, so, you know, it's not something I want to hang out in. It's just a storage area. So we'll get keep going on that. I'll get out my uh, straight edge here and get some two bys cut, and then we'll move on to the wall insulation. i take a little minute break here when I went out to get that two by two. You see up there on the overhang, it's not much. It's like eight inches. But you see that metal soffit vent? That's where we're getting all that air ventilation in the garage. Hard to keep the heat in. So that's why I'm blocking off those ends first. It's about 19 degrees out here. We got about 10 mile an hour wind. And I felt that in my face in there. But I wanted to show you, I noticed it on the way out. You see our smoke from the wood stove there. That's heating nice. Um, you see that clear line? We've got snow down here in the carport, that's obvious. That's not heated. Up there on the, uh, about 12 foot up, is approximately the center of the garage door. There's a line across there. And then if you go up another 12 feet or so, maybe 14, there's another line that goes across right here. And that's obvious, the heat loss. And if you get up on top farther, that's Dawson's bathroom, Dawson's bedroom. He took a shower. You can see you got a little bit of heat loss there. But that straight line across is where there's no insulation yet. So that's a nice sign to say that we're saving money with heat once we get this thing insulated. And over here, that's the office space entry foyer area. And uh, you see there's no heat loss there. But right there, that's our wood stove heat coming right up out of the roof. So I want to get that covered up next couple days. We'll start on the drywall. So I just wanted to show you that. 
I know people say heat loss and it's hard to see at times, but this really shows it. And that line lines right up on the edge of that fascia. And if you come over here, that line on the fascia is right about right about there, lines up on the center of the garage door, and that's where the I-beam, I shouldn't say that, the I-beam is about center of this window, which if you go up is that line on that, you know, separate fascia up there. So that's where our heat loss is. We're going to go back in and get going again. And inside here, you see... The I-beam isn't centered with a garage door. It's basically over this window, and that's where the insulation stops. So that's pretty cool. You can actually see it from the outside with snow on there. So we got this this whole bay done. I've got a 2x2 two two I found out there. I can put it up in one piece. We're going to take some screws up, put that on, and that side will be all set for drywall. So we're going to go and probably work on that wall next and put that insulation in and finish up that corner and this building is going to start warming up fast when I get this in. I'm standing up up here and I've got a foot over my head and I'm not that tall but I would say this would be a great spot to put some uh, storage maybe put some shelves on the wall or stack up totes and put some odds and ends of you know tractor parts miscellaneous nuts and bolts um, I don't know paint sprayer all these kind of things that there are some things up in here now maybe some christmas items but uh we've got our insulation in the wall i split the insulation and went behind the wires i had to pound over some nails they use some long looks like number eights um through the tongue and groove cedar plenty of long nails i'm pounding them down so it doesn't tear my insulation. That's where the uh, fan is going to go down through there. And pretty hard to move around up here. But uh, that's where the fan's going to go. I've got to run my wire yet. I want to frame around it. I'm not. I'm going to wait a couple days till it gets here. I ordered a, want a cheap one off from Amazon. It's got louvers. It says it's got. Um, weather stripping so hopefully it'll keep out some wind i do want to see what it is probably frame a box and then maybe staple screen on this side i would to keep any bugs out and then probably maybe a two inch styrofoam piece or something i i probably got something that we could place over when i don't want to use it uh, i just cut that piece it's got to be ripped now to fit the last one before the uh, metal I-beam post. And I want to finish that area up. Then I got to cut a piece of sheathing to finish off this flooring up here. And then we'll set the drywall right in there. Or what I might do, maybe what makes more sense would be take up that little landing piece that we have for our stairwell landing run the drywall all the way down then put my flooring up to it probably makes more sense and then um if we put the sheathing on after that then we got to work down below right now we've got our drywall down there stacked against that wall so i want to use up everything else and that'll be the last wall to work on see how close we are on material um i've got piles of insulation up in here 
some leftover pieces from jobs and a bunch of new rolls. But we got to work on that vent over there. Get that vented out. We've got to figure out how we're going to support this loft. I want something better looking than what's up here. That diagonal and this vertical is for the garage door track. It's encapsulated in that loft floor now. So I could probably change that out. And then um, the stairwell. We got to remember how that's going to come up and pivot. We got to work on that. I want to get this insulation in the ceiling. You saw the heat loss outside. And so that's going to make a big difference. And uh, it's going pretty good. I can reach a whole lot of this um, without worrying about down here. You see there's a lift down there. I can reach probably three feet from the I-beam. So I think the scaffold might be handy for the you know this first section. Then we can get that out of here. That'll give me room to move this drywall around. And probably just work off a couple A-frame ladders until I get that first row done over there so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next part i know you're probably getting bored with this project but it's tedious it's a little difficult it's drywall and insulating a cathedral with an i-beam in a garage with a lift in place and objects in the way wire upgrades insulation drywall so i'm all excited it's a nice little project it's going to add value to the home going to give me a workshop that I can just come out of the kitchen, come right into the garage, bring out my coffee, I can head in and out. Um, as the weather gets colder and colder, we're down to, I think it was around 12 this morning, that, um, you know, it's a little cold to work outside, my fingers don't work that well, so this is going to keep me busy for a month, maybe, hopefully two weeks, but we'll see how that goes. I'm getting over a cold, so... I'm getting a little bit more energy getting back to this project. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next clip.